Cody, man, I was gonna give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. He was trying to hurt me, not help you. I appreciate that. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the ref. I don't need the recap. I was there. And I have the championship to prove it. You took the crossroads. It was over. Look, you hung tough. Your time will come. But last night, you were done. Maybe so. But that was last night. Tonight's a different story. How so? We'd never fought before. Tonight, I know you. That works both ways. No, I mean, I know you. That little panicked freeze you get every time you're under pressure. That worry you're not measuring up to your legacy. That you'll never finish the story. Man, you're not fighting me. You're fighting you. Wow, turns out it's going to feel pretty good making you a one-night champion with an asterisk by his name. Can you win a title somebody doesn't hand you, Cody? See you out there. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your effort. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals. And won. A fine achievement that the WWE Universe nonetheless looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Perhaps more. Seriously? What does it even matter how it happened? I walked away with the title, yet he's the one you want to be champion? Hogwash. I want the best man to win, and that is all. Really? No little push for your buddy's kid to go to the top? That accusation is beneath your dignity. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good luck. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. It's the brand new, undisputed, WWE Universal Champion.
do we have to call this guy undisputed? After Roman Reigns handed him the title at SummerSlam, he's very much disputed. The finals were full of controversy, but the champion did win the tournament and has another opportunity to prove himself tonight. Can the Dark Horse take down the American Nightmare one more time? Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And his opponent from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 185 pounds, the undisputed. WWE Universal Champion, The Beast, Lewis! The championship of all championships and the biggest prize in WWE. Possession of this title puts you in a league of your own. With Roman Reigns back in Hollywood, we can finally settle the WWE Universal Championship contract. Rhodes and the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop! Stop the damn match! What is Miz doing out here? I said, stop this unsanctioned match. That's right, unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan. But Raw's Royal General Manager, William Regal, seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft. So this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? The WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did, Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on. Get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is canceled. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement, you come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse champion. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see. Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on, what's with the boo-boo face when I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship? I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. 
Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox. And you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want, but you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there! The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship! He's known much more for cold stares than warm welcomes. It's Kevin Owens. I'm sure KO is feeling lucky for the chance to redeem himself after losing focus the last time these two faced off. He must be absolutely salivating at the opportunity to expose the new title holder as nothing more than a paper champion. It's not every day you get a chance to rectify your mistakes this quickly. It's SmackDown's newest acquisition. You gotta give credit to SmackDown general manager The Miz for making sure the blue brand wasn't left without a champion after what happened at SummerSlam. Despite my feelings on the quality of said champion, yes, I agree. Thank you, Miz, for doing a wonderful job. Will the new champion's reign on SmackDown be short-lived? Or is this the start of a long and successful journey? Introducing the challenger from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! And his opponent from Providence, Rhode Island, 
Weighing in at 185 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, The Beast, Lewis! I have a feeling we're about to see a classic, gentlemen. You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's goal. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. Running Swanton finds the mark. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is under the gun. Walking the ropes. Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. Owens was scouted there. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Come on. Chair to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Yes. Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone 
can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. Patience is one of those virtues I got in short supply. I'm about at my limit for earning this locker room's respect, not to speak of my general manager. Good. Use that. Being the respectful young man can only carry you so far. Remember, I was a villain long before I joined the office. What are you suggesting? To silence the critics once and for all. I would use any means at my disposal. And lucky for you, you have plenty of means available in a TLC match. Show Miz, Owens, and the whole WWE Universe what you truly are. Guess that means I need to figure out who that is. Now would be the time, champ. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match! And is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship! Kevin Owens has arrived. Time to fight Owens fight. Introducing the challenger from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. As gritty and tough as they come, KO has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business. And that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer, but he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. And introducing the champion from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 185 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, The Beast, Lewis! It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. The champ's next challenge starts now. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. 
Both of these men will leave with... Watch out! Oh, slide out to the floor, what a splash! Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Clearing the announce desk. What a mess. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Ooh, DDT delivered. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Oh, oh Dragon twist cutter. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. From the apron. Whoa, what a landing. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Going down low, striking the front and back of the leg, and then a double stomp to the lower back. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, what a kick! Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens needs to find an opening. Reciprocating the initial reversal. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And now gets tossed into the ring. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh, Swanton. Oh, what a hurricanrana. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. This is what he feeds off of. He's setting the table up. This won't end well. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, what a kick! A bad place to be for the challenger. Yeah, Cole, but I don't think this will affect anyone's chances at this stage in the TLC match. Cannonball! Oh, man, I'm not liking the look of this. scraps of table everywhere. Taking the brutality of this match to a new level. It's a go to the floor. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens, no, no, no. Sliding under the ropes into a splash on the floor. Pinpoint precision right on target. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Just caught flush. Off the barricade. Oh, right to the back. Comes back into the ring. Oh, slingshot, cross body, what a move. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Quick return to the ring. Positioning it right in the center of the ring. The only thing left to do now is climb it, Cole. Making the climb here, guys. Oh, oh no. Oh, for the love of God. Holy smokes. Carini right from the ladder and right on top. Climb. Go for it. Climb. Scaling the ladder now. A win here would be a bit of a surprise. A shot. A 
it seems a bit early to be going for the win, if you ask me. Not if they can win it right here, though. Looks like that ladder set up perfectly in the center of the... And the champ stands tall once again.